Alright, what is up guys? Welcome to Brookie. Today's video we're going to take a look at the anchor loader for the earthquake bar to see how it fares against the rubber bands and I'm very excited for this one and I have to say already that this one behaves completely different to a rubber band. So keep on watching to see why that is. Let's go! So why did I want to have this one as opposed to rubber bands? Well, I'm not a big fan of rubber bands because they will break over time. I have plenty of rubber bands that already have snapped on me or that have like these little grooves that are like hinting that they're going to break. So what I do not want to happen is that I'm overhead pressing and all of a sudden one of these bands snaps, the weight falls down and the bar goes like this. We want to avoid that at all costs. So I thought these anchors look very sturdy. They're not gonna break. This strap is a, is a nylon strap that is also not gonna break. So this is going to be a much more secure option. You just load up some plates on here and you're good to go. So let's take a closer look to this thing here. So it's basically a strap with a hook and then you have the anchor which is going to hold the weights. So the strap is very straightforward. You open up the strap whoop, and then you can slide that onto the bar. You can slide it into the three positions. You can put them here, you can put them here or you can put them here. What you then have is this anchor here and you're going to load it up just like this. This anchor here, as you can see, is a laser cut and you can see that from the burn marks where the laser was cutting into the metal. And they even engraved anchor loader onto this and they also branded it with bandle. It looks a bit cheap, I mean, the font isn't that nice, but it's okay, you barely see this. And to see how much this weighs, let's take out the trusty food scale, it's about a kilogram per anchor so that's about two kilograms and three kilograms for the bar so if you're like want to note how much weight you're doing I count this thing here these two anchors with the barbell at about five kilograms and that's a very accurate description of the weight as it comes to loading up this barbell as I said you put this strap on here and I'm very lazy so basically I leave this one on here and then the anchor is just something that I'm going to keep separately on my pegboard. So, boom, this is a setup. And if you want to load it, you just take your plate of whatever weight you want and you put it here. Boom. So, the biggest comparison is going to be between rubber bands and this anchor. So obviously this is a lot safer, this is not gonna break, that's something we know already, but uh, how does it move in relationship to the bar and the weight? Well, the strap is very rigid, as you can see, so it's not going to go up and down. The anchor is also not gonna move. So the only motion that you're going to have from this part here is left to right and front to back. So as you're moving, you're going to have to stabilize that. With rubber bands, there's another degree of movement that you have to counteract with your shoulder muscles, and that's going to be up and down. Because the rubber band is not rigid, it's going to move as you move through your exercise. This could be an advantage, as this could be a disadvantage. So the advantage of this one here, not moving up and down is that the weight is always going to hang and it's also going to weigh as much as it is. Whereas with the rubber bands, if you're going down really fast and go back up, what you're going to introduce is that the weight is going to bounce up. And as it bounces up, that makes the start of the movement a lot easier, especially if you're pressing. So that could be considered cheating. Also safety for me is a very important thing. I know this is not gonna break. I know this is not gonna break. A rubber band can always break. Also, I can load it up very easily. So I'm very happy with that. Now, there's one very big downside to this contraption here and that is with bench pressing. I don't know how they calculated it, but if I'm bench pressing and if I'm in the end range of motion, I'm hitting the floor with the plates and not with these five kilo plates, but already with these 10 kilo plates. So if these ones here are on the bar, like they are right now, and you see the bar is not moving, I hung 
10 kilos on one side more than I hung on this side and the bar is perfectly fine. So in that regard, it's also a lot safer to be by yourself and to load the earthquake bar by yourself. So boom, no problem whatsoever. But, and I'm going to show this in a B-roll, this thing hits the floor already. So imagine if I want to go heavier and if I want to use my 20 kilo plates, I won't be able to because they're going to hit the floor very fast. So I don't know, maybe the strap is too long or something's off, but it makes it pretty useless if you want to bench press with this earthquake bar. I'm able to with these 10 kilo plates like barely it's not just a good experience for every other exercise incline bench press standing overhead press squatting that's not gonna be an issue as I said in the earlier videos like if you're going to do rows hitting the floor is going to be also something and that can happen that's why you need to have like a box or something but with flat barbell bench press you can't just put your bench on a box right that that would be like dangerous i can't say more about this i really like these ones i really think that they're a great addition to this earthquake bar super easy to set up super nice to load by yourself it makes it a lot safer and that's really what we're after. Home gym users typically are by themselves, right? Uh, maybe you have some buddies coming around, but most of the time we're going to train alone and we want to be able to be safe. I really urge you to get these anchors because that way you're going to be a lot safer. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I guess I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace!